When I stepped into the role of First Lady, I chose to speak out on health issues of women, mothers, and children. I needed to do something significant to bring attention to the high maternal, child, maternal and child deaths in Kenya that Kenya was experiencing at the time and the high prevalence of HIV. I needed to urge government plus local and international policymakers to do more to safeguard the rights of women, mothers and children in the health arena. This formed the birth of my Beyond Zero initiative, focusing on maternal and child health. In the first five years of my work, we galvanized resources through unique partnerships with NGOs, the private sector and individuals through, through the Beyond Zero marathons, including the most recent one held in March 2019. Through these innovative fundraising events, we have raised funds to purchase 52 mobile clinics, which have increased health access services, including HIV and AIDS, for vulnerable and marginalized communities in living in hard to reach areas. Beyond Zero has also been instrumental in reducing maternal and child mortality from 52 per 1,000 to 30 nine per 1,000 live births. Under five years mortality is down from 74 per 1,000 to 52 per 1,000. Our work with communities across the board has provided us with invaluable insights on how we can be more impactful. We have incorporated the valuable support of community volunteers and community health workers who provide critical human resource support, especially in rural areas, to drive the health agenda. We have learned that health interventions must be complemented by empowerment and education for women and our young people. We know that a young girl who's married off early is likely to be at risk of contracting HIV or developing obstetric fistula and hemorrhage which causes the highest rate of maternal deaths among our young women. Our lessons have focused our attention on these issues in the new Beyond Zero Strategic Framework 2018 to 2022. We are investing our efforts towards reducing HIV infections among adolescent youth, the elimination of mother-to-child transmission, which threatens to erode the gains we have made in our journey towards ending new HIV infections by the year 2020. Through the Beyond Zero Medical Safaris, we have taken free medical health services to serve the vulnerable and marginalized in the society. These services target women, children, people living with disability, the elderly, and adolescents. These medical safaris have positively impacted over 20,000 lives and we plan more over the next year. Advocacy, leadership and accountability have been the key driving force of my work along with great passion and determination. Every little thing we have done has changed someone's life. This is what has fueled my energy. I would like to encourage all of us here to take on the spirit of icons like Professor Wangari Mathai, turn your little thing into a movement that will bring change. Let it grow to make a difference to an individual, a community, to nations and the world. The HIV war continues. We cannot leave the battlefield just yet. We must recommit ourselves towards in ending HIV by 2030 so that in the years to come, when HIV and AIDS will be spoken of as a thing of the past, we shall remember the roles we played, however big or small, in ensuring that we left no one behind.